Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I'm getting the sense that somebody may be having some kind of um, legal issue today, or they may be needing to appear in court today, okay? You may be re uh, feeling that as well, okay? I feel like they also, they may want to have a conversation with you. They're hoping and praying that all of this is, is going to be blown over. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. I feel like there's a person who is stuck in some kind of legal issue. They're having some kind of court case today or this week, something like that. Are um, having some kind of, they need to appear, a court hearing, that kind of thing, okay? And they're hoping that they get released from this, or that they're found innocent, or they're hoping for a good outcome here. Feel like, too, they, uh, they can't stop thinking about you. This could be somebody who's getting ready to be released from jail, or... Um, I, I feel like they've been in jail, okay? And they, they want this legal mess to go away. You know, and you're out here having a good time, and that's what they're thinking about. They're jealous of you. They're jealous because you're free, and, um, and you're able to do whatever you want, and they can't. They don't have freedom right now. Um... I feel like this person's just having some major court difficulties. Some le they're stuck in some kind of legal mess. What did this person do? And they're upset because you can be out here living your life. Some of you are even going on vacation. Oh, they're looking at some time. Okay. Um, it says days, weeks, or months. So maybe this person's been in jail for that long, or maybe that's they're looking at doing time here. They're very emotional about this. They're gonna I feel like they're gonna beg the judge um, to be lenient. Yeah, they're feeling pretty sad, broken alone. This person could be getting into some physical fights in jail as well. Whoever they're around could be. Like really busting them up, like they could be um, getting getting beat up in jail. Okay, they want to get out. Yeah, they want to get out of this hole. And so they're they're asking, I don't know, a judge or something, or I don't know, I don't know anything about jail stuff. Um, so help me out on this, but they're they're asking like um, somebody to release them or set them free from jail because they're they're getting they're getting beat up. Maybe they're asking to be moved. They want out. They're hoping that they maybe can be let out of jail. I don't know. They've got some kind of hearing or something today. Yeah, they they they're going to meet with somebody. Please let me. I don't know. I don't even know if I don't know where they are in this court case, so I have no idea. Um, but they're definitely talking to somebody. Um, maybe they're t meeting with an attorney. Uh, they could be meeting with their attorney today while they're in jail. Please get me out of here. Try to find a way to get me put in isolation so I don't get beat up on anymore because they are. Um, whoever they're around in jail is beating them up, picking on them. They're being bullied. Okay? And yet at the same time, this person is heartbroken and jealous of you because you're out here treating yourself to some things. You you got your glitter box of popcorn there. You know, this person's doing a lot of thinking. I wonder what the collective is doing out there on the outside, right? <laughs> on the outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the sense that this person's in jail. Meeting with maybe a, a public defender or an attorney. Asking them for help. Yeah, what are you doing on the outside? Collective, you're moving up. You're ascending. You're moving on with your life. I feel like this person is kind of like hoping that you're sad about them being in jail. I don't know. 
hoping that, you know, they, it's almost like they want you to feel sorry for them. But no, you're turning your back and you're treating yourself to something possibly even luxurious here. Okay. Yeah, you're you're spending time with you. You're going to movies. You're having a good time. You're climbing the ladder of success. You're living your life. You're moving on. You could even be moving away altogether. You've got your back turned. And they're over here hoping that you feel bad for them. You know, they're 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 like, I wonder if the collective is thinking about me right now. Yeah, yeah, because they're lusting after you. They may even be wondering if you have a new soulmate that's come in, okay? And they know that if if the uh, if they have to remain in jail, I, I'm seeing this. It says financial support, but I'm looking at the handcuffs. I'm looking at this. What what do they call it? Is it a jowl? Is that what they call it? I'm almost uh, embarrassed to say it. I don't know what it is, but you know, like the judge, right? Um, yeah, I feel like um, they're worried if they get sent to jail for longer or if they can't get out or something like that, then you're going to get with somebody new. They're, they're picturing this in their mind, and I feel like it's making this person feel panicked. Yeah, it's making them want to come in and chase you, but they can't because they're in a jail cell. Like, I'm, I'm seeing this person down in a hole, right? Losing my soul, yeah. I want to fly. Yeah, they want to get out of that situation. I don't know who sings that song, you guys. It just popped in my head. Um, you could have children with, with them. Um, if you do, they want to come back home. They want to be a part of the kids now. I feel like this person discarded all of you, kind of tossed you out like garbage. And now they want to come back in because now they're sitting in a jail cell down in a hole and you're moving on, ascending, moving on with your life. Oh, well, they're stuck in jail. You know, I still don't know what they did. Okay, oh, gambling, taking a risk. I don't know what they did. They did something really foolish. This is the fool card in this deck. So they, they made some kind of impulsive move. Maybe it had to do with their finances, okay? Maybe it had to do with money. They could have been out there scamming people. This person could have been a thief. Um, you know, it could be also something like um, something fraudulent, okay? I feel like they were working with other people as well. So they got themselves busted for that. It could even be something like drinking and driving too, you know. Because um, I'm seeing a lot of drinking. They did something dumb and they got themselves put in jail. I feel like it was, um, it was something that they thought they would get away with for sure. But they didn't. Yeah, they didn't. They weren't listening to their intuition. This could very well be your divine masculine, divine feminine. I feel like you're the divine feminine collective. Feeling like this is a masculine who's um, stuck in jail. Um, they could have been set up as well by a karmic. Wanting some revenge. Wanting some kind of payback. Wanting to punish your person. Okay, so she could have set them up. In some kind of scam or money deal. This could be something like money laundering, something like that. If they have like their own business. Um, it has something to do with scamming people. And I feel like she was involved. But she, it feels like she's roaming around free. Okay. And she put has your person put in jail for this. Like they took all the blame for this. They're taking the rap. They're taking the rap for something illegal, and they're sitting in jail thinking about you, okay, being abused or, you know, whooped on by, by, um, by other people in jail. Yeah, I feel like she incriminated this person for something. 
but they did do something illegal. Um, yeah, and I I'm getting the sense that you could be maybe picking up on their emotions right now because they are very back and forth, up and down, wanting to come towards you. You know this person wants to come towards you, but they can't. You know, the, if um, I can also see this as this karmic maybe wanting to come close to you, like wanting to come in and communicate and, um, I don't know, give you a hard time maybe. Feel like you should maybe just be avoiding both of these people, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your person is in jail. I'm telling you, they're in jail, but they're thinking about you. Okay, and I feel like they tried to get away from something that had to do with how they made some money. But, um, yeah, the karmic is turning them in. Yeah, they're in jail. All they're doing is sitting in jail, thinking about you. Feeling heartbroken. They're not going to be able to get out of jail. I I'm getting the sense that they're... Uh, they're going to lose this, whatever this battle is, whatever they're trying to ask for, you know. I don't know. They're going to be in jail for a while. And I feel like, um, meanwhile, you're going to be moving on possibly to new love, okay. Maybe even starting a family with someone else. If this is giving them a lot of anxiety. Look at how tied up they are. They could be in handcuffs or... You know, I don't know. It's giving them, they're scared. They're afraid that you're going to leave them behind. And you are. It looks to me like you are. I feel like spirit has this person wrangled. Look at this. Like, I, we know you're anxious and scared and panicked, but you're not going anywhere. That's, that's the divine intervention. This masculine, they're not getting out of jail, I feel, anytime, like, really soon. Yep, because right now there's too much toxicity around this person and with the burdens that they have and the baggage they have now with this legal case, whatever it is, um, they're too toxic to come together with you. They, they're in too much toxic energy. So I feel like spirit has already intervened and, got, and this person went to jail and they can't come near you now. They're not getting out of jail. Spirit knows already that if this person was to be released and free, they would come straight to you. They would come straight to you, Collective. And if they do, they bring all of this toxic um, crap with them. And Spirit isn't allowing that anymore. So this is somebody who can't come forward. Even if they did get out of jail, they wouldn't be able to come towards you. This is all that they want is to reconcile with you, okay? But they've got just too much. It's just too much. Um, yeah, and I feel like um, I feel like there could even be a karmic individual that's watching you very close because I, I feel the karmic is the only one who's free here. And you could be moving away. Like, there's no more time left. Whoever's watching you, it's getting to the point where they can't come back in. Time's up. I feel like time's already up. You could be being led to move to a new location. You could have recently just purchased a new home. Okay? But, yeah, the, I feel like now all they, have, all they can do is watch you. They're not, neither one of these people are allowed to come towards you now. The cycle's closed out. This masculine is now stuck in a, in, a, in a jail cell. The karmic is wanting revenge. And Archangel Michael is out here protecting you and holding everybody back from you. Okay? Yes. It's history. I feel like that's a cycle that's over. They'll still continue to watch you on social media Especially this divine masculine, but here you don't even want you don't want this anymore. You don't want this anymore. It's a tragedy, yes, because this is a divine connection, okay. But you're tired of being a um, forbidden love, 
And now you're focused on making your money, growing your business, having a new beginning. Um, you've reinvented yourself here. You've had a glow up. You've had a transformation. And you don't want any more of this toxic mess. You don't want this person to bring their baggage to you. Mm -mm. No. Uh, even I feel like you do love this person. You do. You have love for them. But that doesn't mean that um, you're going to take them back. Okay, that doesn't mean that they're ready for a serious relationship right now. So the door is closing on them, both of these people. This karma can't come towards you either. You're being protected. And this masculine can't come towards you right now either. They're in jail and you're being protected. Okay, because spirit does not want you in that toxicity. Okay. Ooh, it's got this masculine triggered. I'm telling you, they are going through it wherever they are. You know, but they got themselves into this. Um, let's see. I want to get these out here, these oracles. What can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, walking away. That's what you're doing. You're walking away. You know, um... This person wants to talk. Look, yeah, they're in love with you. And there's the karmic with her dark attachments. You're walking away from both these people. Okay? You're just done with this. And spirit's leading you to do it. Yeah, you're starting something new. This is birthing something new right here. So you're starting a whole new phase in your life. Closing out a cycle, okay, and your new this new way of life is starting for you now. And you're you're starting it very abundant, choosing yourself, right? Um, loving on yourself, uh, making good money, a successful business, a solid foundation, possibly a new home. I mean, you know, you've got a lot going on, and you don't want um, you don't want this toxic mess in your life. Yeah, look, new doors of opportunity are opening for you as you walk away and close out a cycle. Okay. Yeah, and you're being divinely led here with an eleven. So yeah, you're doing some planning, some planning for your future because you made it through the garden and now that gate is closed. Look, as you walk away, do you see how this gate is still open a little bit? But now, um, now you're focused on bigger things for yourself. You're making future plans, setting goals, right? Accomplishments. And now that gate is closed. Do you see that? So I feel like this is a cycle that's clearly come to an end. These people can't come back in. And you're going to be moving forward. And your person who's sitting in jail is going to be broken hearted. They're going to be broken hearted over this. But they got themselves into a mess. Okay. 